Hello, in this Ionic programming video, we are going to look at the select CSS component. Just based on that word select, you might not know what it is. It's basically a drop down. So, we're going to look at how to do a drop down. Really, really simple. We're going to put it within a list. Actually, no, we're not. We're just going to put the drop down itself because lists are really easy to use. And if you want multiple drop downs, you can just add it within a list. So, what you want to do is just add a label. So, label. And now this needs to have a class of item, item dash input, item dash select. And then inside here, put a div with a class of input label. So this is just some text to tell the user what the drop down is for. So I'm just going to put color. And now we put select, which is the drop down itself. And inside here, we put option. And for this, I'm just going to put red. I'm just going to keep it simple. Green. Blue. Save that build our project run it in the simulator and here we go we have a drop down there so if we click color it doesn't do anything because that's just a label but it does pop this up it's the same as if i were to click on here Depending on the sort of device that you're running, the actual drop down will look different. And that's just because of whether it's iOS, Android, I've tried it on web, it actually looks more like a drop down. So again, it depends on the device you're running, which is fantastic. So it actually matches the user experience that the user is expecting from their device. You don't have to code it manually and say, for iOS, make it look like this or use this component. And then for Android, use this and make it look like this. It'll just look the way it should do for that platform. So if I click done, it selects green. There is nothing more to it. So one thing I just want to show you, if you do want a list of select drop downs, then just Put this within a list and each one of these would be the actual item itself apart from that that's it for select drop downs if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk there'll be a link in the description alongside that there'll be a link to the source code from this video and the source code for every other video in this series if you like the video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.